how can we do a thermometer chart here in Excel? And whenever you change any value, any percentage or actual value, your target value, the height of the thermometer and of course the color of the thermometer is going to automatically change to you. So basically the color is going to follow a criteria that we're going to create and the height itself is going to follow the value, the largest the value, the largest the height of the chart in the thermometer. Okay. Basically we need just two main informations here to build this thermometer chart in Excel. The first one is the actual value and the target value. Okay. With just these two informations, with these two values, we can build it in our thermometer chart in Excel, actual value and target value. So basically it's a chart that is going to compare the actual value versus the target one, the goal. I can delete here everything. I can read it off and we can do it step by step from scratch. I'm using here a data set, a sales report, basically, where I'm using here this last column, the total column to as my actual value. Okay. But you don't need to have a data set or to have a report to make here a thermometer chart in Excel. The only two things that you need to start with is the actual value and you can insert any value that you want. And another value is the target one that again, you can do with any value that you want. Okay. So actual value and target one. Now in order to compare these two values, I want to create here in, uh, in the next column, a percentage that's going to compare how much my actual value represents by the total or the target. So equal sign, the actual value divides by the target one. Enter. Okay. Now I have here the percentage, 70%. So my actual value represents 70% of the total of the target. Now let's move on to the criteria that we're going to use, the conditions. I want my thermometer chart in Excel to have four different colors. That is green, yellow, orange, and red. If you want to use add more colors or use, let's say, less color, you can do it. If you follow along with me, this is step by step, you're going to understand how can you add colors or how can we use less criteria or less colors, okay? To start with, I want to define here the green criteria. So whenever, let's say, my percentage is greater than or equal 85%, I want to have a green color in my thermometer. That way I'm going to start here with the equal sign and then if function. I can double click here in the if function, want you. My logical test that my if function is asking me here is going to be if my percentage that is right here is greater than or equal to 85%, for example. So I want to get in as result the percentage itself. Else, comma, if not, I want to get nobody. So just close parentheses and then press enter. Now, whenever my percentage is met with my criteria, for example, I'm going to have here as return in the percentage in green. So for example, if I change here to 85%, press enter. As you guys can see here, the green is already automatically updated with the percentage. But if the percentage does not match with my criteria, for example, let's say 15%, enter. As you guys can see here, the green is equal to zero. And we're going to do it for all the colors. We're going to define a range, a criteria, uh, based on the percentage. And the if function is going to return for, for us either the percentage itself or zero. Okay, uh, let's move on off to the red one because it's, it's a little easier to do. So equal sign, if function, double click it. Now my logical test is going to be if my percentage is less than let's say 30 percent comma so returns the percentage itself if not or else close parentheses okay now we can move on to the yellow one or to the orange one i'm going to start here to the yellow one and i don't know if you guys just remember but as i said before the red one is easier to do in the same way that the green is also easy to do but the yellow one and the orange one is a little bit more complicated because here we're gonna need to define a minimum point and a maximum point because look if uh, I have in the percentage 85%, I know it's a green color. But let's say I got a 84%. 84% is going to be yellow. So the yellow color needs to be actually in a range, a minimal point, a minimal percentage, and a, and a maximal percentage. We need to have this range. So I cannot use it here, just the greater than or the less than. I need to use both. If percentage is greater than something, and at the same time is less than another something. We need to create here a range. So equal sign, if function, double click it here, one, two. And my logical test is going to be and function. So I'm going to append the and function within the if function. I'm going to click here in the end, one, two, to select. My first logical test is going to be if this percentage right here is, let's say, less than 85% and comma at the same time is need to be this percentage right here needs to be 
greater than or equal to, let's say, 50%. Close parenthesis, comma, if these two conditions are met, so I want to return as a result the percentage itself, comma. If not, else, I want to return nobody. So close parentheses and then press enter. I'm going to do the same thing here for the orange one. But instead of doing it immediately all over again, I can select everyone here that is within the yellow cell. So control C. And then I just double click here in the orange cell, control V. And the one thing that we need to change here in the orange cell is the range. So this range right here, 85% and 50% correspond to the yellow one. So here for the orange, maybe I can change to, let's say, if my percentage is less than 50% and at the same time it's equal to it's greater than or equal to 30% enter okay now we're done and we can test so let's say 50% I gonna got a red 25 I still got a red 30% it's orange 45 orange 55 it's yellow 75 it's still yellow 85 now it's green okay so now we can move on and create our thermometer chart itself the first thing that i'm gonna do here is clicking insert tab and then illustrations pictures place over cells and then i'm gonna select this device here i have a bunch of files in my computer and i'm gonna choose the thermometer one if you do not have any thermometer in your computer to just input here in excel you can go to google and search it thermometer dot this is a tip okay dot png because that way .png, this extension, this file extension, is going to return for you in images that have a no background, okay? So it's have a transparent background, and this is what you're going to need. So I select here the thermometer, and then I'm going to click here, insert, and my thermometer is already in the screen. One thing that I can do here is just increase a little the size. So for example, like this, just increase a bit. With our thermometer here in the screen, into the Excel, we can create the chart itself. To create the chart, I'm gonna use these conditions that I we just did before. So I select everyone here, and then I can click here, insert, column chart, and then I'm gonna select, let's say, the second option right here, stack it column. I can click here, and our chart is already in the screen. Some little change that I, we can do here is clicking the, this title, read it off and click here in this right line is this background lines and delete it too here these categories names i can select and read it off to delete and if the, if this percentage that adheres to the left i can double click it and make sure the percentage goes to zero up to a hundred percent okay so we need to make it fixed in, in that range zero up to a hundred percent so i double click here and with this right panel here i'm gonna change the minimum to zero i'm gonna type zero again and confirm with enter and the maximum i'm gonna use one enter okay now we can select the percentage again delete read it off now i'm gonna select here this blue column and i go to series overlap i'm gonna let in 100 percent gap width i'm gonna let in zero now i can close it and one more step that I, we can do here right click in the chart change chart type and here in the column i'm gonna stick with the stack column that we just selected before but instead of using this first option right here i'm gonna use the second one i'm gonna select this second option i'm gonna click ok now we can change the colors of our chart to make sure it's match with our criteria and then we can move on this chart to backward the thermometer to behind the thermometer let's start with select the chart and read it off the background to make it transparent so select the chart go to format shape outline no outline and shape fill no fill that way our chart is with this transparency background and i can now make sure the area of this column chart is within the area of our thermometer okay so let me adjust here like this for example let me just bring it down a little and if you have any difficulty just make this little adjustments you can use your keys in the keyboards okay to the left to the right to down up that way you have more preciseness to just move around the column chart let's now change the colors because for example here i have my percentage 85 percent here it's showing the green percentage but my chart is still showing a blue color so double click it instead of using a blue color i'm gonna change to let's say a green one so i go in the first option here fill a line fill solid fill and I'm going to select a green that I like it, but you can select any color that you want. Let's change now the percentage to 45%. This is the orange one. Double click it. I'm going to select here the orange solid fill and then select here the orange. And we're done with the orange color. Now we need to do the yellow one and the red one. The yellow one is going to be, let's say, 75%. Yes. So double click here, fill a line, solid fill. And change to yellow the last color that we need to change now is the red so 50 percent 
Double click it, click here in the fill and line, solid fill and select a red color like this one, for example. I can close this panel here. Whenever I change here any value, as you guys can see, my chart is already updated for me. Uh, just two more steps. One, we can take this percentage and insert it into your chart. Because let's say you want to make a report, you want to make a dashboard, maybe it's not a good idea to display all this math that we just did. We can take our chart when it's done, we can take the chart and we can create here a new spreadsheet and let the chart alone. Or we can use the chart into a dashboard or another spreadsheet, a report and so on, so on. Let's just click here in the chart and then format. I'm gonna move it, send backwards, okay? So I click here, send backwards. And as you guys can see, the chart is already backwards, my thermometer. Now to just finish here, I'm gonna click insert and then to the right, I'm gonna click text text box and I'm gonna make my text box here in this circle down below like this for example here instead of we just type it in let's say 85% I'm gonna do it dynamic so I'm gonna click in the border of the this text box and I go here to the formula bar equal sign and I'm gonna select here the cell that's contain the 95% the percentage itself I'm gonna press enter and as you guys can see the percentage is already here in the text box and whenever we change any value in our actual value target the percentage change, okay? Here the text box is gonna automatically be updated for us. So it's dynamic now. With this text box select, I can go to the home tab and then centralize it one, make the text a little bit bigger. So 25%, for example, I can change the color to black. And of course the shape format, I can read it off the background. So we're gonna start with the shape outline, no outline, shape fill, no fill. That way we almost done. So just one thing that is missing here, let me just click in the home tab. Instead of using the black color, I'm gonna use the white one. And they're gonna centralize everyone here in the middle. We done. Whenever I change here the percentage, 50%, 35, 45, 55, 75, 85, the chart's gonna be automatically predicted for So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and suggestions to the next video, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.